this is the asus area and is the enclosure i told you guys about that will be getting for my nvme drive it's going to be for my one terabyte drive that i have at hand and we're going to be using it externally like you see here so right now it's hooked up to my laptop like i told you guys i would use it the nvme drives that i'm using they do come with very nice advertised specs but those specs don't mean much to me if they're not at par with the type of work that i do the type of files i'll be transferring this enclosure is advertised as being 10 megabits per second, which if you do the calculation and the math in that, it means I can go 1,250 megabytes per second. All the drives I'll be testing today, they all are at least 2,000 megabytes per second in transfer rate, writing speeds and whatnot. Once again, that's just the advertised performance. So we're gonna go beyond that. And if you're looking to see that, there's a lot of videos out there that would recommend for you guys to look at. So this enclosure is gonna be used all the time to make sure that my workflow is as smooth as possible. If you wanna see those tests, that's exactly what this is for. And then on top of that, the cherry on top is to see how well that performs against a regular SSD drive. I know what the performance of this is and it's very steady, very solid. And therefore I wanna see if this might outperform this or if there's any difference. So stick around, I'll show you that. NVMe drives tend to run very hot. So there's gonna be some issues here and I know there will be because there's no other reason why this enclosure costs almost $50 and it's all aluminum. Knowing where the NVMe is at on the laptop itself, I can feel there being a lot of heat generated from that specific area. NVMe runs real hot. The more stress you put on it, the hotter it gets. That can be an issue and it may cause some throttling, but I'm hoping it doesn't. So we're gonna do some testing and we're gonna start with the one terabyte Samsung 970 EVO and the crucial one terabyte. Both drives are going into the enclosure and we're gonna transfer 433 gigabytes of files. Those files are all files that I use, includes videos, in HD, 4K, photos, raw files, as well as some music. There's a variety of different file sizes in here, which is exactly the kind of test that you want to perform in order to realize how well the, the drive or the enclosure will work for you outside of its normal environment, which is outside the actual laptop or PC. I'm not sure if the drive has a problem with the cache, overheating, or can't handle the amount of data that's being transferred at once to it. This drive outperforms the Crucial drive by quite a bit. The Crucial drive starts out strong at over 650 megabytes per second for the first 130 gigabytes of files. After that, it just drops at under 100. It goes anywhere between 50 to 90 and so forth. So let's just call it around 70 just to call it even, even fields. The next 300 gigabytes of transfer. That took over an hour to finish. That's a lot of time. Whereas this drive here kept it steady at over 250 megabytes per second and it finished in 20 minutes. The Samsung 970 EVO did the best. In 10 minutes, it was said and done, finished, transferring all the files. Throttling has not been an issue for the Samsung. I believe it might have been an issue for the Crucial and it's nowhere an issue for the SSD drives. So if you have a normal SSD drive, that's not an issue whatsoever. In the NVMe drives, it is an issue. And for that, you need an enclosure that can disperse the heat Thermals are a problem and if you can't get this enclosure propped up or in a place where like there's a lot of airflow, you may have some issues there. And it's not just with this enclosure, I'm pretty sure it's with all, enclo all enclosures and those plastic ones are perhaps a no-no as far as you purchasing one. So I believe for the price, this is a very nice enclosure and as you can see the RGBs, that's a nice touch. It kind of gets you motivated. So. I like the fact that it's there and that was uh, another reason why I kind of purchased it. So based on the results, I can tell you that this enclosure is worth the purchase. If you were to compare it to a standard hard drive, it runs at about 80 to 90 and this one can write at 750. That's about a good seven times performance. And if you were to compare this to the SSD, which is right here, that one runs at 250. So that's a three times performance gain. Using this drive as your scratch disk, it takes the load of the drive inside your computer, meaning it disperses the heat and this does not get as hot either. So using both of these drives together as an enclosure outside of your computer is extremely beneficial for thermals, both on the enclosure and for your laptop because your laptop does not run as hot as it usually would when I'm using Premiere. 
and the enclosure doesn't get as hot as if it would when I'm actually writing directly 24 7 so if you're writing directly all the time the enclosure will get hot but if you just accessing files here and there here and there it will run very minimal heat and it works just perfect thus far it has worked for me and I like it a lot more for that reason so I do recommend the drive purchase it if you would like links are down below and like always if you like this video leave me a comment subscribe or just give it a thumbs up either way I really appreciate your input so with that I'll see you next time. Thank you. See you then.